Yo, we back again. Can y'all see me? We are back. Happy Wednesday. Yeah. So today I am going out on my way out and I wanted you to come with me. Mariam is having her birthday dinner celebration. She is turning one year older. So we are all going to celebrate that. So <laughs> I thought it would be the best time to do a little get ready with me, a little chit chat and a little vloggy, vloggy, vloggy. So yeah, I'm, I'm really living my beauty guru experience. Like, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. Hey guys. Hi guys, welcome to my first ever channel, YouTube. What do they call it? I have been watching beauty tutorials like all of my life since they thought like Nikki tutorials Jeffree Star before we all found out he was the racist and um Manny and we before you know it started being jizz and people crying with bogeys in their nose I have no excuses here today <laughs> the past I can only pray for the future I'm a proper like OG beauty watching guru babe so anyways, yeah, we're just gonna do a chit chat and I'm gonna do my face. Honestly, I have had a really quiet week, which I love. Like, I just come into the end of the year and everybody's packing up for Christmas. I've not really had a lot of shoots and things like that. This week I was on a podcast with Harry Adiola and Philly. Honestly, like, it was really, like, deep and we were having conversations kind of about our journeys you know being in this space and honestly like these lot have been in the game so much more longer than me so it was like an honor to really just be in there and just kind of share my experiences for the last year and a bit so definitely check that out like it was so good it was so good seeing different sides to people who you usually see who are quite like comical and on the funny thing just really like share their stories like we were talking about different stuff like addiction we were talking about Cancelling, we were talking about just loads of different stuff that you know usually you won't discuss because it's not really your content. Reflecting on the year, like that's one thing that I love doing at this time of year, just kind of reflecting on everything that's happened this year. And honestly, I would say that I've had like this is one of this has been one of the best years of my entire life, as in I've been so blessed this year just with like the experiences that I've had, the people that I've met, um, the opportunities that have really arisen for me. Uh, just, I just, I've just had a really, really fun year, you know, from like moving to London, management, signing, things like that. Like, so honestly, I've just really enjoyed 2022. Like obviously unfortunate, for some things like in terms of like the cost of living and the economic stuff but I really feel like this has been a great foundational year for me in terms of my career and really figuring out what I want to do with my life because I've proper struggled with like identity and knowing what to do with myself I guess um I didn't really know for a long time what career path I wanted to follow and I didn't really know like, I never thought about social media. Like, I mean, I thought about it, but at the same time, I didn't feel like it was, like, possible or I thought even if it was, it would be difficult and I'd have to do, like, 200 years of fighting for my life and stuff. And, like, girl, like, what am I going to do in the meantime? But God has been so good to me in this space and I'm, and I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. But I feel like as the years come in, I really do want to spend some time with God just to kind of, like realign myself refocus be excited about next year um where's my brush yeah she's she's blended edgy baby it's your daddy Babylon, but I never met you anything I believe Am I up so slow when I share the lean? Am I sick so you gotta paddle in? Gotta rap, rap, roll, gotta roll your boat. It's people fragging. Shopping bones and lame sayings, shopping for expensive things. I be on the movie screens, man. Care about the next man. Use top down, then it get red. Left them, get dipped. 
from the whole ends. If killer car shots, no I think it's your slips. How are we doing, guys? Okay, let me put the there. How are we doing, guys? We're back to let me do the finale. Let me see. Are we blended? I think we're blended. Let me just make sure that everything is blended well and then I can do my highs. Ugh, girl, I'm late. Bye. Can I just say, side note, yeah, I use my eyebrow pencil to do my lips because I swear there is no the browns lip liners are either too light or they're black there's no in between so sometimes i go to the pound to the hair shop and i just get an eyebrow pencil and it gives you that perfect deep brown that's not black it's not so harsh but it's not so brown that you can't see it because it's the same it's the same shade as your lips five hours later let's have i am here guys sorry yeah i know i disappeared but i was literally rushing to leave my house so let's have a debrief of what has happened since i ran out of my house got ready and i'm here in the restaurant i'm fighting for my life in the toilet right now um because i've poured glue all over my top like this always happens to me like i've not even entered like i've not even fucking entered are you like guys this is actually my fucking life. I can never leave my house here in one piece. I can never leave an entire in one piece. Something must go wrong. I did my lashes in the cab and fucking have got glue. Oh my God, this is getting worse. Huh? Pressure is getting worse. Should I put it back to front? Let me just... Oh my God. Number three. Why does this shit always happen to me? Why? Right, I'm gonna have to put it back to front. Fuck! This is bad. It looks like I eat like a dog. If I put it to front. Right, so I've put it back to front, so it's okay. Um, I'm just gonna show you my outfit quick. Actually, no, there's no space here. So let me say what I'm going to everybody. I've not entered, there is glue on my bag. I've managed to hide the glue. Honestly, this is the life I live. Very chaotic. I'm very disheveled. And I'm also very fucking late. This stuff, God. Jehovah Jireh, just take the wheel. guys <laughs> well <laughs> it's the morning after <laughs> debrief 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 debrium listen y'all me and victor well let me speak for myself i did Bye. the fucking most see the see the makeup still on my eyes guys yesterday was actually so good I need to eat that cake. I should have put it in the fridge. Oh, there's just so many regrets right now. First of all, I should have put the cake in the fridge so I could eat it today. Do you know what I'm feeling for? Cake or custard? Jam really poly. Mm. 
Anyways, yesterday was amazing. Everybody had a good time. I was slicky licky. I was drunk. It was sick. I was boogieing. I was like, I was like the MC. I don't know what I was doing. I was, someone gave me a microphone and I did not know how to act. I was freestyling on the back, doing the most. The food was good. I didn't have any dessert, which to be honest, it really upsets me because it really messes up my balance, the balance of my life. Like I have to have dessert every time I order, every time I do food. Some dessert. I need a dessert. How did you find it? Last night was really, really fun. Um, you know, let's count out the fact that I was waiting there since seven. <laughs> since seven. Listen, let me tell you something. But for the most part, it was really fun. There were shorts coming. Coming. Every 30 minutes in the hour. They were coming and I was taking it. I was taking it like a good girl. She was taking it like a champ. Listen, let me tell you something about these black people and their vests. If black people are telling you to come at 7.30, especially when it, when it's like, when it's even, when it's like a matter of urgency, you know when they put a matter of urgency, girl, you better come at half eight. That right. matter of urgency is fake. Because what time did I pull up? I pulled up at half eight and Basically. everybody just started so, sitting. Yeah. Everyone just started sitting down. Girl, so Victor decided to come on time, hmm. not knowing about uh, the black timing and how it works. So unfortunately, he had to sit there by himself, looking like lemonade, looking like lucozid. Okay, thank you. So, but it's okay. We live and we learn. We live and we learn. But all in all, it was quite good. Several days later, guys, it's Saturday, and I've never been so excited to be somewhere in my life. Yeah, it's the weekend, guys. Have a fucking drink, all right? Because you had a very, very difficult week. That bitch, yeah, you know her. Sally was being very difficult in the office this week. But guess what? You ain't got to see her today or tomorrow. So you have your motherfucking drinky poo. You know what to do, chicken and stew. I relax. I watch me. So hello, guys. We're here for another vloggity vlog. Vloggity vlog. vlog. Ooh. Vloggedy 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 vlog per guys you already know it's Saturday I'm so excited I'm happy the weather is not as crazy as it has been the last couple of days like it's been snowing the weather has been given cold it's been given minus two degrees and I'm just not here for it but I'm glad that the weather is, you know, the sun is out a little piece. The sky is looking a bit more, you know, positive. So today I'm excited. It's another crazy day for me. Um, I have a shoot today. Yes, I have a shoot on a Saturday. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I feel like I've been very outside this December, like uh, September, um, October, November. I've really been working, working, working my ass off. But December, for some reason, your girl is outside, even though the outside is killed. But very, very excited, very, very happy. So I'm on my way now to get my makeup done for the shoot. <coughs> Sorry, for the shoot, um, just to get myself together. I'm waiting for every to hopefully get my parcel on time again. I you know what they say fool me one time shame on you fool me twice can't put the blame on you i feel like i'm at that stage because every time i always book every knowing that they are the most inconsistent rubbish useless nonsense irritating annoying stupid and foolish group of people the delivery service i've ever seen in my fucking life like nobody is i've had i've listened my ex cheated on me and i would say he was more consistent than fucking every more disappointing than the government right now okay so i have left I'm on my way out, I'm getting a taxi, and um, yeah, we move. I think I will be on time. And I'm really proud of that because I am one of those people that tend to be late to 
everything god help right, guys let me wait for it to fix so i've made it i'm in the makeup chair yes and um i was late again <laughs> excuse me i'm trying to change i'm really really trying to change from being a late babe obviously it's going to be one of my things 2023 that i'm gonna work on so yes we are going back into the ch chair do you know what yeah i'm wearing a jumpsuit so i've decided to wear a jumpsuit sexy jumpsuit from oh Polly, yeah mm -hmm. similar to the one i wore for the spotify then but i'm just loving the jumpsuits but my goodness like you know when you've had a couple to drink and um you need to go to the toilet it's quite a difficult it's quite a difficult it's, a it's quite a confusing <laughs> situation because you're running to the toilet like you're really in the in the public toilet and you're just basically naked on the toilet seat because you actually have to strip down to remove it then on top of that i've got spanks as well and yeah. you know it's spanks yeah. do you know what? i found a trick though what there's a trick? trick so obviously i've saw on tiktok that the girl look how dry my lips is bumba <laughs> I saw the girlies on TikTok say that you should wear two spanks. Yeah, I can't lie, I wear two. I've, this is new to well, me. Sometimes you do waist trainer spanks, then your clothes. Excuse me? <laughs> you got a package. There's of layers. Yeah, hundreds. She said, tuck in, tuck in, tuck in. Obviously, as I don't curse that BBL, you guys already know me, <laughs> but I very much curse that the spanks and the waist. So I bought two new spanks to wear. But again, if we have a toilet situation, we've got a Spanx and a jumpsuit. That is the when well, you have the thong one anyway. Yeah. So like I just pull it to the side. No, that makes sense because it's painful. Yeah, to remove it and yeah. put it. I just literally pull it out and pull it to the, the side, side. Okay. and then I will now hold it as I'm hovering. <laughs> okay, so you, you won't remove the whole. You won't thong, remove the yeah. pants. You will just put. You will just pull it to the side. <laughs> That's my. That's what I've been doing, and it's and obviously you don't have to be fighting for your life to be wearing the spanks back, and you've yeah. re, you've relieved yourself. Cause it's putting it back on. That's the stress. that's the fucking yeah. stress, and doing that in a small ass yeah. cubicle in a the public toilet is just not the one. You're there for ten minutes. You're there for ten minutes fighting for your life, and two spanks. Yeah, it's long. Two. <laughs> yeah. Listen, ladies, we are pulling to the side all 2023. I'm yeah. not taking it off. Because it's the fucking pain in the mother and us and, and jumpsuit as well. In addition, yeah, yeah I'm pulling to the side. Are you in a jumpsuit today? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Polly have been really coming through with really? the. Oh my god, they have this like an. Is it. Uh, what are they? Not neutral. They've got this like. um You know, um soft lounge clothing. Okay. So I bought this jumpsuit. I'm going to put it up. Bang, bang. I've put the jumpsuits. Check it out. And honestly, when I mean it hugs your body, it lifts your breath. The one I wore, yeah, I didn't even wear bra. No way. The way it was I pushing. Love this type of and I'd have, I have it in a play suit in green. I have mm. two plays. I have play suit in green and black. And I bought the long one, the racer bag. I've bought, I'm literally collecting them. Literally got the whole collection. Because it's like, a, it's like a good base to them. Okay. If you want to do, if you want to wear the boots, you could, if you wear boots, if you want to do the you trainer just, thing, dress it up, dress it up oh, jeans, oh. bang, 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 bang. Like the looks are coming together. So I'm for it. That's yeah. this is even not, it's not sponsored. So um yeah, we're just gonna blend my neck. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you need to blend your neck, girl. You got to. Very vital, very important. I was one of those babes though. I have some horrible makeup, makeup pictures. <laughs> no. That and the thing is, I hate. Don't you hate those people that send you throwbacks of yourself? It's just like oh okay, my god. Okay, but they from, from um, long ago. Long ago, like oh, you don't look like then. that anymore. And but the thing is, I really hate that because when. I was out that day and my eyebrows was looking like this. I have to post, there's a picture I want to put here, yeah. I'm going to put it, I'm going to show you, I'm going to put it, yeah, that was just to me. When I went out that day, I thought I was the baddest thing. That was the day that notes, I'll never forget it. That's the day that notes came um, to Bedford when I was living at my mum's house. And, um, yeah, I came to the club, I thought I was looking sexy, I had my breast out, I was like, and I came to the front and he was he was thinking and I was trying to do mysterious girl. <laughs> like I was trying to do a serious girl. Because you know, after after the club, yeah, the man them take the girls home. Yeah. Like the give man them take not girls home, the man them take them to the backstage. Yeah. So I was like to my sister, I need to be a backstage, but they start pulling them from the crowd, pulling okay, them from the yeah, crowd. Who they wanted. Who they wanted. So I was trying to do ambiguous that uh, <laughs> ambiguous babe to notes. Um 
it didn't bang because it didn't end up taking I wasn't one of the selected but I can understand looking at that picture because I looked discouraged how long ago was this? this was years ago funny enough funny enough funny story that night I had DM'd him are you coming to Bedford? really? that was from like four or five years ago oh my gosh don't tell me he replied now Best believe. So I met. I actually met Nose at um, Henry's birthday party. Okay. Kicked it off. Great guy. Yeah. Great energy. So he followed me. He followed me, and he was like, "Oh, it was nice seeing you today." Yeah. So I clicked on it, and I saw that my Did message, my oh. DM from five years ago, is asking if he's still coming to Bedford, was there, <laughs> and I was like, "Joyce, I actually hate this for myself <laughs> so hard." I look like a number one fan. 